Well, a very warm welcome to our third service this morning. Welcome to those of you who are joining us here in the building. Welcome to those of you also joining us at home online. This morning we are continuing in um, our three-part series of prayer ministry training. So at um, some point during this service we will watch a short uh, film clip from the HTB network, um, encouraging us and showing us in practical terms, uh, praying with one another. But we are here first and foremost to worship the Lord, to worship him in spirit and in truth, through our sung worship, through our prayer and communion with him. So let's begin in a place of prayer. Oh Lord Jesus, we welcome you here. You are welcome here. Welcome here in this place here among us, but most of all, here in our hearts. Come and mould us and shape us to your will, that we would be conformed to you, your perfect will for each one of us. And we ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Blessed be his name. And we begin there in song worship. I invite you to stand if you would like to or to stay in a posture of receiving, seated as you wish. Thank you. Thank you, Graham. Thank you.
Lord, we lift you higher. You are our mighty God. You are the one who is over and above it all, the name above all names. You are able. You are able. And we come before you. We humble ourselves before you. You are God and we are not. You are the one over all our circumstances. And Lord, you know every detail about us. You know the plans that we have. You know the strategies and plans that we don't have. And you have a way and you have made a way. And you are the way. And yes, you are the truth. And you are the one who is the life giver, the one who brings us life. So Lord, we come to you, as it were, meekly kneeling before you. Oh Father, oh Father, you know all that is before us, you know what troubles our hearts. You know what brings joy to our hearts. You know the love in our hearts. And you want to bring your love to cover over all, to fill all, to fill us. And give us life, life in all its fullness, now and forevermore. And you call that eternal life. And we praise you, Jesus, for you are the one, the giver of life. Amen. 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 Thank you, band. Thank you. So as I said at the beginning, we are going to be, uh, in a moment, looking at a simple model to help us pray for others. Actually, we, it is a simple model because we are joining in with the God of mission who is seeking each one of us, we have looked earlier this morning at the God who seeks and after the, the lost sheep, each one of us, each child, child, children who know the Lord and those who are lost who don't yet know him. But he's calling us back to himself and we are invited by him to join with him, to partner in his work. He is the one who intercedes for us. He's seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. That means he is bringing our prayers, the prayers that we perhaps don't even know are in our hearts, are the needs that we have, and he is praying for us to God the Father, his Father, our Heavenly Father, the one we can come to calling Abba, Daddy, Father. So we partner in what he's doing. And we are called to be in community. He has called the church into being. This is his church. And we stand alongside one another saying, I stand with you as the Lord works. When we pray, the Lord works because it is his work. And so, Jack, thank you. If you would um, bring us this, this film clip to, to listen to. It's not very long, but it gives us some key points as a prayer model. Welcome to the second video in our prayer ministry course. In the first video, we gave an introduction to prayer ministry and shared some of the ways we can prepare ourselves to pray for others. Here, we're going to explain the prayer model that we use at HDB. But first, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love and kindness. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, to come and teach us. Teach us how to hear your voice and follow you. And teach us how to love and serve people the way that you do. In Jesus' name, Amen. There are many different models for prayer ministry. The following is simply our model we use at HTB. It's really helpful to have clarity with this so that people know what to expect when they're coming forward for prayer at our services. 
Prayer is not a magic wand to force God to do what we want in people's lives, nor is it a vending machine where we pray enough prayers and can then select our preferred product. Prayer is primarily about a relationship with God, a relationship in which he leads and we follow. And this is true of praying for others. We are simply seeking to follow the Holy Spirit's leading, believing that he is already present and active in the person's life. So as we talk here about how we pray for others, we're not presenting a rigid structure to guarantee results, but a model that can aid the journey of participating in the work that God is doing. It may be worth saying again that this is the ministry of the Holy Spirit and not our own ministry. Therefore, we always aim for simplicity and honesty. We can avoid all intensity, hype or being overly serious. The Holy Spirit carries the weight and we are simply welcoming him. Step one, connect. As someone asks for prayer, it's great to take a moment to connect with them. This is a brief opportunity to build a level of trust and to reassure the person you are praying with that they are in a safe space. Without interfering with their personal space, position yourself in front of the person to be able to warmly introduce yourself and ask their name. A smile goes a long way in helping people to relax in these moments. Then explain that you would be privileged to pray for them and ask something like, God is aware of all the details, but would you give me a headline of what you would like Jesus to do for you today? It's really important at these moments to remember that your role is not to be a counsellor or advisor, and so a headline is all that's needed. From time to time, the person sharing may disclose something that you find disturbing or shocking. If this occurs, it's important to maintain your composure and eye contact without reacting. If a person shares something of a safeguarding nature where harm or abuse has or could happen, it is important that we communicate that we cannot promise confidentiality. However, we will always be sensitive and only ever disclose the concern to a professional and in an appropriate way. We'll speak more about this in a later training video. In a moment, you'll begin to pray, but first, if it's appropriate to the context, ask whether you could put a hand on their shoulder. This is a prayer practice used in the New Testament. Then encourage them to simply receive. They don't need to say anything, but might want to close their eyes and open up their palms in a posture of receiving. Step two, come Holy Spirit. Rather than simply reel off the best prayer you can think of, it's great to simply invite the Holy Spirit and then pause to listen. You might want to say, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this person and your love for them. We invite you now to come by your Holy Spirit. We'd encourage you to keep your eyes open as you pray, which might feel slightly strange at first, but enables you to see as well as listen for anything that God may be doing. This could be a physical sense of peace and rest come upon someone, or they may shake as they experience God's presence. In this moment of pause, silently ask the Holy Spirit to bring to your mind any scriptures, pictures, or ideas that he wants to communicate. You may want to occasionally pray, come Holy Spirit, to reassure the person that you are still praying and that they can simply receive. Step three, share and pray. If you sense that God has brought something to your mind, you may now want to share this. It is important to keep an atmosphere of prayer in this moment and to share in a way that is clear and concise. This is not an opportunity to preach at someone or to give them advice, but to pray and give space for God to work in them. We want to humbly recognize that we can make mistakes. And so it can be good to start by saying something like, I may be wrong, but since God has reminded me of something, we believe that God always speaks to encourage, strengthen and comfort, and that for everyone's safety, these are not moments to share anything prescriptive about someone's future. 
Therefore, we do not share words of correction or direction. We don't share predictions of dates, romantic relationships, or in areas of fertility. God often speaks to us about things so that we can continue to pray for people, not necessarily to share with them. We trust that God can speak to people directly in their hearts about specific decisions. If you do sense God is speaking to you about one of these areas and you feel it needs to be raised, please communicate this with one of the clergy at your service who can advise you with next actions. If you don't sense anything specific, then do continue to wait on the Holy Spirit. Invite the love of God to work in the person's heart and pray for their requested need. Step four, check in. When you feel that it is right to finish praying, it is good to ask the person if they have sensed God saying or doing anything in them. And then either way, reassure them that God is always lovingly present and active. This is also a good moment to encourage them to weigh up any words or pictures that you've shared against scripture and to encourage them to keep being filled with the Holy Spirit as they go through the day and week ahead. We don't tell people they are healed, but leave that to medical professionals. And so if someone has experienced physical healing, we always recommend that they consult their doctor before deviating from any medical advice. Step five, conclude. To finish, it is great to ask a person if they have done Alpha and are a part of a HTV group and also to point them towards the connect area at your service. It can really be helpful to be aware of the different pastoral courses available at HTB. These are regularly updated and can be found on htb.org. Hi there, my name is Andy. What's your name? Ethan. Ethan, really nice to meet you. Um, I mean, God knows all the details already, but could you give me a headline of what you'd like Jesus to do for you today? Um, I guess with work, there's quite a few deadlines coming up, so just peace and strength to be able to get all those done on time and to do them well. Amazing. We can definitely pray for that. Um, well, we're going to pray in a moment, and I'm going to invite the Holy Spirit to, to come. I'd love to encourage you, if you feel comfortable, would you open your hands up just as a sign of being open? And you don't need to do anything in this moment. You can just receive. Um, so feel free to close your eyes if you feel comfortable. Am I okay to put my hand on your shoulder yeah. as we pray? Yeah, that's fine. Amazing. Well, Heavenly Father, thank you for your love for Ethan. Thank you for your plans and purposes for his life. We pray now, come. Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. I'm just reminded of those words in Ephesians 3, 17 that, that talk about being rooted and established in love. And I might be wrong, but I, I just sense that God really wants to root and establish you in his love in this season, just to build those foundations afresh of your whole life being based upon his love. So I pray now, Heavenly Father, would, would you build such strong foundations in Ethan, not based on, on his performance or his abilities, but on who you are and on your love towards him and on his identity as your beloved child. And pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ethan, was there anything that you sensed kind of God saying or, or doing it in that moment? I just felt... Um... I just felt a lot of comfort. I just felt safe for like during that moment. Just felt like everything else that was made me feel a bit anxious, anything like that kind of disappeared. Um, just felt really safe and comfort, like comforted in that moment. Amazing. Yeah. Well, maybe try to remember that verse. It was Ephesians three seventeen, yeah. and that might be something that God wants to keep bringing to your mind uh, this week. Are you part of a, a HTB group at the moment? No, not at the moment. 
okay, well, we'd love to help you get more connected into the life of the church and tell you a bit more about Alpha as well. So we've got a, a connect stand at the back, which I'd love to, to introduce you to some people. But it's been a real privilege to pray for you today. Finally, there may be occasions when somebody identifies that they'd like to start a relationship with Jesus. What a privilege to help someone in this initial part of their journey. We have a really simple prayer model to help people start this relationship. Sorry, thank you, please. Sorry, Jesus, for the wrong things I've done in my life. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me, that I could be forgiven and know your love and peace. Please fill me with your Holy Spirit to know that you are always with me. Amen. Do encourage the person to try Alpha and get connected into a HTB group and share a Why Jesus booklet with them. In our next video, we're going to explore how to pray with wisdom, but let's finish by praying together. Jesus, we believe that you're always present and active by your Holy Spirit. We ask you to fill us again with your love, grace and truth and empower us to see your kingdom come as we pray for people. In Jesus' name, amen. And that is prayer ministry. If you would like to be part of the team praying like that, then please do, if you haven't already um, put your name forward, then we'd love to uh, connect with you, as they've said there on that video. Um, please do. I've got a sheet of paper. It's at the moment on the second row here, but uh, you know, I won't be leaving the service before you do. Please give me your name, um, and we'd love to um, be in touch and, and have you as part of prayer ministry. We will always have the model where you are praying two of you. So here we just saw one person and you've seen Doug and I through necessity uh, praying uh, as individuals with uh, one or other of you in that same way of inviting the Holy Spirit to be at work in your life um, in particular areas that you have requested. But that is, that is the model. Um, as they said, next week we will look more in detail at praying wisely and looking at the area of safeguarding, which is also so vital um, as we come alongside people to do so safely uh, for ourselves and for them. Shall we pray before we worship again? And I want to read these words over you. Um, it struck me that the song uh, of praise of David was uh, what perhaps the Lord may be wanting to say to one or other of us here today. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn that is the strength of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge, and my saviour. From violent people, you save me. And it concludes in this way. To the faithful, you show yourself faithful. To the blameless, you show yourself blameless. To the pure, you show yourself pure. But to the devious, you show yourself shrewd. You save the humble. But your eyes are on the haughty to bring them low. You, Lord, are my lamp. The Lord turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. For who is God beside the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. O oh Lord, may you arm us with strength and keep our way secure. For your mighty name's sake. Amen. Amen. If you just want to stay in an attitude of um, prayer and um, being open to what God wants to do, uh, 
We'll sing this song. Don't even feel you have to sing it, actually. It's I will offer up my life, but it's just a chance to come before the Lord. all my shame away, there defeated my sin, opened up the gates of heaven and have beckoned me in.
Jesus, thank you that as we respond to you, you do come by your spirit. <clears throat> thank you that it doesn't just have to be in a, in a church building, but anywhere when we call on you, you are there. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Father, thank you that you are a God who is completely trustworthy. Praise you. sing a final song now if you want to stay in that attitude of prayer or waiting that's fine don't worry but if you are ready to then please stand and we're going to sing the song which proclaims the great truths of the Christian faith in Christ alone
name of man can pluck me, can pluck us from his hand. What a truth. What a gospel. Amen. Amen. We had a word that God is like God in the burning bush who came to Moses who was in the wilderness away from his family and he said, I am with you. I have come down to rescue my people. What a gospel. He has come to seek and to save, to rescue. And Moses says to him, but who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? And God said, I will be with you. And he says that to his disciples today. I will be with you. Whatever your situation, whatever your circumstance, know that God says this today. I will be with you. I will be with you. Amen. Amen. So, may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your heart and your mind in the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. So let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you all.